A new leak shows a Chinese Communist Party has infiltrated the West with nearly two million of its members. One America's Hans Hubbard reports. The extent of China's espionage on the Western world is brought to light as an international coalition of lawmakers unveils a major leak of Communist Party members. Over the weekend, Sky News Australia made public the existence of the list, detailing nearly two million CCP members who have infiltrated top positions at US, UK and Australian institutions, including diplomatic missions, some of the world's largest private firms and even government agencies. The list is believed to have first been acquired from a CCP server in 2016 by a dissident within the party who shared it with others via the encrypted messaging app Telegram in order to coordinate resistance efforts. It was corroborated by both cybersecurity firm Internet 2.0 and a consortium of four different media organizations and eventually shared with the Interparliamentary Alliance on China. This coalition is made up of 150 legislators around the world who share a commitment to democratic values and international norms and who wish to coordinate their response to the rise of China in order to protect, quote, a free, open and rules-based international order that supports human dignity. China, under the rule of the Chinese Communist Party, represents a global challenge. One which will define the next century. It is a challenge which touches all of us. This challenge will outlast governments and administrations, and it transcends party politics. What we once believed about China's rise no longer corresponds to reality. We thought China would open up over time. This hasn't happened. In fact, today, China is authoritarian at home. And ever more assertive abroad. One of the greatest revelations of this effort has been the extent to which the Chinese Communist Party has been able to place its members at the highest echelons of Western society, with the stated purpose of manipulating Western institutions of power towards policies more favorable to Beijing's ambitions for expanded global influence. And while the CCP members listed in the leaked dossier have not specifically been accused of espionage as of this report, there are numerous examples of Chinese operatives directly seeking out Western leaders to influence, as evidenced by the recently uncovered exploits of CCP operative Christine Fang, who targeted Democrat Congressman Eric Swalwell. In light of stricter policy measures, Di Dongsheng, a professor of international relations at Beijing's Renmin University, who has also taught at Sciences Po in Paris, the Free University of Brussels and Georgetown University, gave a recent lecture lamenting the loss of influence Beijing once held over affairs in Washington before the advent of the Trump administration. The Trump administration is in a trade war with us. So why can't we fix the Trump administration? Why between 1992 and 2016 did China and the U.S. used to be able to settle all kinds of issues? Things were solved in no time. I'm going to throw out something maybe a little bit explosive. It's just because we have people at the top, at the top of America's core inner circle of power and influence. We have our old friends. According to the dossier, active members of the Chinese Communist Party all of whom swear upon joining to, quote, fight for communism and be ready at all times to sacrifice all for the party, work within international banking institutions such as HSBC and Standard Chartered, and even pharmaceutical firms developing COVID-19 vaccines, including Pfizer and AstraZeneca. This infiltration has been repeatedly recognized by top administration officials in the U.S., who have issued calls for the world's democracies to band together and combat Beijing's encroachment into international affairs, with Secretary of State Mike Pompeo recently calling this the defining challenge which the Western world must face in the coming century. We have to admit a hard truth. We must admit a hard truth that should guide us in the years and decades to come, that if we want to have a free 21st century and not the Chinese century of which Xi Jinping dreams, the old paradigm of blind engagement with China simply won't get it done. We must not continue it, and we must not return to it. Hans Hobbard, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Visit OANN.com for immediate access to all the clips you've been waiting to see.